Okay, so we're going to have a look at some connected rates of change questions, but this time there's going to be something that is a little bit different. Um, reading through this question, we've got the volume of a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere, and it's related to its radius r centimetres by the formula v equals 2 over 3 pi r cubed. It also tells us that the total surface area is that s is 3 pi r squared. Um, given that the rate of increase of volume in centimetres cubed per second, they very kindly tell us that that is dv by dt. But we can tell it's dv by dt because we have volume per second. We also have the word rate, which is referring to dt. And we have that it's the increase of volume, which will refer to the dv. They've told us that dv by dt is equal to 6. We've then got a similar thing here because they're talking to us, to they're asking for us to find the rate in other words, the dt, the rate of increase of the surface area, which we know is referring to ds, and all of that is whilst r is equal to 9. So let's just go through some of the pieces of information that they've given us that we can write down. Right, we know that volume is 2 over 3 pi r cubed. We also know that the surface area is 3 pi r squared, and they have also told us that dv by dt is equal to 6. We are trying to find out what ds dt is, and we're going to do that when r is equal to 9. So I've got all of my different pieces of information at the top. OK, only option I can do here with v is I can differentiate it with respect to r. When I do this with respect to r, I will have 2 over 3 multiplied by 3, which is just 2, 2 pi r squared. When I differentiate s, again, it can only be done with respect to r here, I would have 3 times the 2, I would get 6 pi r. OK, those things might be useful. Now, our normal strategy for finding out what ds by dt is, is to start writing ds by, and then something by dt. Now, the thing that looks like it's going to be difficult here is we might be tempted to put dr in both of these places, because we have ds dr. We can see what it is that we've got here. But dr dt? No, I've got dv by dr, ds by dr, and dv by dt. Nowhere do I have anything with dr by dt. Now, you can find dr by dt in a different method, but this method is going to be the most efficient one. So I prefer you to use this idea of three things being connected together. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the dr, I'm also going to get rid of the dt, and I'm going to add in another rate of change, where I'm going to split the ds and the dt into a ds with some blanks and then a dt here. All we need to do now is look at the information that we've got. I've got this one, this one, and I've got this one. So, looks like ds has to go with dr which means that needs to be a dr as well. The only thing that I've got to do with dr is dv by dr. So I'm going to have to put a dv in here and a dv in here. I'm happy because dv by dt is something that I've also got. So I've got these three connected rates of change now that must be the same as ds by dt. ds by dr, I can immediately say, is 6 pi r. But dr by dv is not the same as dv by dr, so I'm going to have to take its reciprocal, which is 1 over 2 pi r squared. dv by dt is 6. I'm able to do quite a bit of nice cancelling out now. So we can see I have a pi in the numerator and a pi in the denominator, so they're going to cancel. I've also got an r in the numerator and an r squared, so I can cancel the squared. I'm also going to cancel the 2, and I'm going to divide one of the top numbers and reduce it to a 3. So this whole thing is going to simplify for the numerator. 3 times 1 times 6, which is 18. And the denominator, I've not got the 2, I've not got the pi, I've not got the squared, I've just got the r. So let's just say what we've got here. We've got that ds by dt is equal to 18 over r. 
but we know one final piece of information that we haven't yet used, which is this, that r is equal to 9. So when r equals 9, ds by dt is equal to 18 divided by 9, which is 2. The last thing that I think we should think carefully about here is that the surface area with respect to time sounds like its units are going to be surface area centimeters squared with respect to time s to the minus one. So this idea of like a triple connected rates of change question is not a particularly common type of question, but it's worth seeing that these three questions can connect together like this. The only other thing that I've written about down here is there are some questions in exercise 9J that we won't have studied enough about because this actually pops up more in differentiation and in integration in integration. So when we get to the integration chapter, those questions will be things that you can cover as well. Okay guys, see you later.